Hello friends! Pickup trucks with a 2.0 liter BITDI twin turbocharged diesel engine with 163 horsepower were the first to enter the market. A little later, a version with a base 2.0 TDI appeared with a single turbine with a return of 122 horsepower. In 2011, the Europeans were offered the Volkswagen Amarok with a 2.0 TSI petrol turbo engine with a return of 158 horsepower. Since 2013, the 2.0 TDI has been developing 140 horsepower, and the 2.0 BI TDI 180 horsepower. With the restyling of 2016, the range was replenished with a 3 liter diesel engine in various power options. 163 horsepower, 204 horsepower, 224 horsepower, and 258 horsepower. In engines with indexes CDBA, CNFA, CNFB, CDCA, and CNEA, there is another belt that serves to drive the oil pump. It works in hot oil. Mechanics recommend changing it after 150 to 200,000 kilometers. To access it, it is necessary to lift the engine to remove the oil pan. In a 180 horsepower CSHA bi-turbo diesel engine, gears are used to drive the oil pump instead of a belt. After 150 to 200,000 kilometers, it was often necessary to deal with the disappearance of antifreeze without a trace. Most often, the EGR cooler is involved in this. But sometimes a cracked cylinder head is to blame for the loss of antifreeze. This problem affects, first of all, diesel engines with double supercharging 2.0 BITDI. And after 200 to 300,000 kilometers, it comes to a major overhaul of the engine due to increased oil consumption. Troubleshooting revealed wear in the cylinders. Capitalized diesel has also been due to faulty injectors. They began to pour fuel, which led to the melting of the piston. The fuel injectors usually travel over 200 to 250,000 kilometers. The verdict on the engine could also be passed by a broken drive belt of mounted units. His lumps fell under the timing belt, and sometimes even a special protective cover did not save. Over time, the valve cover gasket and O-rings under the nozzles begin to poison the oil. After 200,000 kilometers, the turbine may need to be repaired. The 3 liter turbo diesel does not cause serious claims yet. There are complaints only about errors in the particulate filter and the operation of the regeneration system. A reliable chain is used to drive the timing. The main one was a 6-speed manual gearbox 0C6 developed by ZF. The manual transmission clutch travels 150 to 250,000 kilometers. A number of boxes with manual gear shifting required repair on a segment of 200 to 300,000 kilometers. The owners preferred the search and installation of a used unit. Along with the manual transmission, an 8-speed ZF automatic transmission was offered. The machine is pretty durable. He has proven himself well in many other models of various brands. The main guarantee of longevity is regular oil renewal. However, it is worth noting that some owners complained about jerks, jerks when switching, or the box spontaneously going into emergency mode. Some lucky ones even managed to get a replacement box during the warranty period. However, there were no mass cases of automatic transmission repairs. Rear wheel drive versions are the least common. The vast majority of Volkswagen Amarok sales are all wheel drive. In cars with manual transmission, a rigid connection of the front axle, part time type, and a reduction gear in the transfer case were used. In variations with automatic transmission, only permanent all-wheel drive with the torsen type center differential was used. The thrust between the front and rear axle was distributed in a ratio of 40 to 60. All variants were equipped with an optional forced rear differential lock. After 200,000 kilometers, the CV joint of the front drive shaft may make noise. The original comes only with the cardan. A little later, 
the oil seal of the shank of the rear gearbox or real axle shaft may become snotty. In the latter case, it will be necessary to replace the wheel bearing in which the oil seal is built. The transfer case of the part-time system is usually laid by lovers of hard off-road, but long-term driving on asphalt with the front axle connected also significantly reduces the service life of the unit. A new handout costs astronomical money. The front axle has double wishbones, while the rear axle has a continuous axle on leaf springs. Most owners note a fairly comfortable suspension and good handling, no worse than a mid-size crossover. Ball bearings, upper and lower, run for more than 100 to 150,000 kilometers and, according to the regulations, are changed as an assembly with levers. However, ball joints can be replaced separately. A little later, silent blocks of levers are surrendered. After 100 to 150,000 kilometers, it is the turn of shock absorbers. Over time, the springs may squeak. In this case, the silent block of the earring is changed. From overload or frequent loads, the leaf spring may burst. The original is only assembled. Substitutes are offered on the aftermarket. Wheel bearings often reach 150 to 200,000 kilometers. Steering rack silent blocks become unusable after 100 to 150,000 kilometers. After 150 to 200,000 kilometers, the rail itself, knock, leak, can go for repairs. There are problems with the power steering pump. Often, owners complain about a weak paintwork. It bulges and flakes off at the bottom of doors and near door handles. And the hood and wings are overgrown with chips. Traces of corrosion can be found under the plastic sill plates. Red spots also appear on the frame, but there is no talk of any fatal consequences yet. The generator may require attention after 200 to 250,000 kilometers. Sometimes the regular Webasto heater starts to fail or buzz. Malfunctions are usually caused by oxidation of the contacts on the control unit, or a loss of contact on the control board. Extraneous noise may be emitted by the recirculation pump. Over time, the heater motor starts to make noise. In most cases, it is possible to get rid of the noise after cleaning and lubricating it. There are also problems with the dampers of the air conditioning system the rods break or the servo drive fails. After 200 to 300,000 kilometers, it was necessary to repair the air conditioning compressor. If you know of other model malfunctions, be sure to write about it. <laughs>